there guys, what's up? It's your boy Pushnall, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us doing a tier list on the best to worst WWE Supercard event card card design. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Right then guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys can see on screen right now, we have got a tier list on Tier Maker and we have got some awesome, awesome looking card designs ranging back from season one, season two to current day of WWE Supercard. So yeah, I'm gonna go legendary is obviously the best of what I think looks muy bien, mucho gusto, stuff like that. And the ones that I think look the poorest, I'm gonna go silver star. I.e. if I was to get them as a pro, I'd silver star them. So yeah, I don't wanna beat around the bush too much. I'm gonna suggest, uh, suggest we get right into this. And the first one here is gonna be the AJ Styles, which I believe was a ring domination event card card design which came out season back end of season one uh and season two and, and then was integrated into season two i think it's an okay card design i liked it because it had like the um like fire effects around the border like the kind of like glowy fire effect around the border of the actual card design which made it look super super clean i'm gonna go it's a it's an ultra good like i think it was a very good looking card design i wouldn't put it up there as one of the best and i wouldn't put it up there as one of the worst then the next one is the Alexa Bliss. Uh, is that WrestleMania as well? I'm not 100% sure because I can't really zoom in. It's the WrestleMania. Oh, not WrestleMania. It's the Alexa Bliss. I believe this was a Road to Glory? Let me correct me on the event if you guys know what event that was for in the comments down below. But yes, this was again a super, super clean card design. Honestly, the blue and the red. I don't normally think blue and red complement each other, but it's the shade of red they picked. The, uh, add for the glow around the uh, like behind the Alexa for the card design, which made it stand out a lot. So again, I'm gonna put this one as a super ultra, well not super good, so ultra good, because I think it, it's it's very very good, but it could be better. It's gonna take something for me to put a card in Silver Star and Super Mare. Like it, it's it's gonna take something like this Braun Strowman. This was a SummerSlam PCC. This is the Braun Strowman versus local champion or local hero. I can't remember what exactly what it's called, but like I said, co uh, comment down below in the conversation down below with uh, any corrections if I have made any mistakes so yes this is braun Strowman versus local talent local hero pcc back in the day um i i i like the fact that he used braun Strowman, but i didn't really like the card design so for that reason i'm gonna put it in super meh it's average like i believe they could have done better yes they got the palm trees in the background they made it like the theme of summer slam so like florida-esque but i don't know right for this next one legendary season one pcc brock lesnar now this is a card that I wasn't able to obtain because I wasn't playing PCC back in them days. Because this was this card actually came out before I started even playing Supercard. I started playing Supercard in October of 2014 of season one. This card came out in September, like late September, I believe. And honestly, it's a legendary card design. Like the image on that card and the card design itself, so so paying, so so nice. And if any of you guys have that card design of the actual card still in your guys' catalog, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to have a look at it on stream with you guys uh, someday. That'd be great. This next one is the Chris Jericho PCC event card card design. Again, I think that there's either Survivor or WrestleMania. Again, I'm not 100% I'm not 100 sure. But yeah, this is again a very nice card design. I'm going to put this one in Epic purely because it is Chris Jericho, Y2J, and I quite like the, the actual image they used for the event card. Uh, it was a really nice image. Then this next one is uh, the legendary Daniel Bryan, I believe Fastlane PCC event card, which if I'm not mistaken, did he go up against Dean Ambrose for that one? I'm not 100% sure. It's either Dean Ambrose or Dolph Ziggler. It's one of those, I think. But yes, this card design was very, very clean. And again, legendary purely because it was again a card that i wish i could have obtained back in the day but wasn't able to and oh lord what i'd give to have that card today right then the next one is the wrestlemania road to glory event card with uh, of daniel bryan with the ic title image and <laughs> yes 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 this is an easy this is an easy legendary for me because god damn that image with the icy title and especially on daniel bryan it looks so good and those title images the fact that you can interchange images now in supercard with your cards that card that sorry that image would look so good on a card right now take me back to them days 
these. Next up, we've got the Dean Ambrose PCC event card from season one. Again, legendary, I do believe, legendary or survivor tier and crazy. Crazy, crazy card. It's an epic. I wouldn't put it up there with legendary. Obviously, if you guys do disagree, let's say I'm open to any constructive criticism in the comments. More than happy to listen to what you guys have got to say based on my tier list. But yes, it is an incredible card design. I'd say it's epic. It's not legendary, though, for me. Funny, isn't it? How I put two Daniel Bryan cards, by the way, in legendary. Some would say I'm biased. <laughs> Anyhow, next card is Adolf Ziggler, aka Ziggy, aka, as I call him, Adolf Ziggler. Take it with Prince of Soul. It's for a bit banter. But yes, Adolf Ziggler, I believe that's Survivor PCC, uh, PCC event card. That's a legendary for me. I'll just have, I just quickly have to scroll up. That's a legendary. That's an easy. I'm going to actually minimize this one more time. This is actually an easy legendary for me. That is insane. That card design with the image they use. Boy, oh boy. Insane. Then we've got the Demon Fimbalore RTG event card, I believe this was. And again, legendary because I love Demon Fimbalore. I am biased. I'm wearing a Fimbalore shirt right now. If I move my mic. There you go. That's just to quickly show you guys I'm wearing a Fimbalore shirt. But yeah, I'm wearing a Fimbalore shirt right now. And I love the whole gimmick of the Demon Fiend. Uh, Demon Fiend, nice. The Demon Finn. I loved it. Always have and forever will. I, like, right now my dream match would be The Fiend versus Demon Finn. I mean, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of that one. I think that'd look super, super good for, like, a pay-per-view. Obviously, I'm just waiting to see what WWE do with it. But this next one is, again, a, a legendary Season 1 PCC card. And a lot of these cards are actually PCC cards, I'm seeing. And, again, that this card is legendary. I mean... I have to take it with a pinch. I, I have to say it with a grain of salt, though, purely because of what Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan did back in the day. But I mean, he deserves to have that legendary spot. I'm actually going to put that card over Dolph Ziggler and over Finn because that card's really, really, really nice. Like, if you actually have a look at the card design, if you find it somewhere, or if you even key it in on Google and pull up in like full screen mode or just in a better quality, like it's a very nice card design. The attention to detail back, back then for a season one event card, wow very nice the next one we've got john cena pc now this was the one i believe he was against rusev um and this was the extreme rules pcc event card and i wanted this in my collection so bad like i've got bad john cena images in supercard from like season one like ladder awards and stuff but i do not have this event card and i would really like to have it still it has a way of them introducing a the pack in the pvp store for throwback legacy images for season one images like john cena love it i'd absolutely love it and i think the whole community could benefit from it so I'm going to put this one in Epic. It's a very nice card, but I just don't think it gets anywhere near this top row. Then we've got the Kane RTG event card from WrestleMania tier. I actually have this card in my card catalog. Yes, I actually managed to get this card. And boy, do I like that card. It's an ultra good card. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's ultra good. Like, I wouldn't say it's epic, but it's ultra good. Because honestly, it's a bit yellow and yellow and black is a bit meh. It almost looked a bit lazy. But it also looks good at the same time. Like, it works. Because the backdrop, when you had the pre animation, the backdrop would glow. And that looked super, super clean. So with that being said, we're now going to move on to the, what I believe was season two SummerSlam Kevin Owens event card. I don't know if that's RTG or PCC. I'm going to say RTG for this one. I'm pretty sure. And boy, do I like that card design. It's a ultra good. I'm actually going to put that one above uh, the Kane card because I think it's a really clean card design. Him with the Universal Champion, I believe that is, with the championship there. Honestly, in fucking saying, obviously, Kevin Owens, as the commentators always say nowadays. But yeah, this is when WWE were pushing Kevin Owens quite a bit and giving him the chances that he isn't getting nowadays, which is a shame to see. But yeah, moving on, we've got the Nikki Bella. I don't want to say PCC, but it could be. I think it's RTG, actually. Legendary RTG event card. No, actually, this is Survivor RTG event card, I believe. And wow, it's epic. It is just epic. I'm a, I'm a Nikki Bella fan at the end of the day. I'm going to be by Swords uh, But it is a very nice looking card. It's 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 red and red's my favorite color as well. So again, it's a bias situation for me on that side as well. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. But it's a very nice card. And uh, well, I'd give to have that, uh, that image in Supercard. As you guys know, I still have a Season 1 Survivor Fusion Pro of Nikki Bella in my card catalog. Or actually in my card still in Supercard that I've kept since Season 1. And that's not going to go until WWE removes legacy cards from the actual game. Anyhow, the Page PTC card from WrestleMania tier, I believe that was, in Season 1. There's not a lot to say. I'm not a big Page fan, but the card is meh. Not because I'm not a big Page fan. They did a lot with the card, but the, they had no animations back then. Like, the, the animation for that wasn't that big. Like, you have animations now where if you throw the card, like, there's, like, fire and stuff going on, obviously... 
the time has come, technology has evolved, and you've been able to do more with the effects side of things, the graphics side of things as well. But I think this card lacked, plus the image wasn't the greatest in my opinion. Obviously, I remember this PCC going absolutely ham. People were going absolutely ham for this page card, and it was a, it was a really nice card. It was a really nice card, but it just gets a super meh for me. Obviously, like I said, if you guys disagree, put it in the comments. This next one is the big dog himself, Roman Reigns, the guy with the weirdest hair. Yes, this was a survivor PCC card, I'd like to say. Again, Roman Reigns. This was from back in the day from when I was still playing. And wow, why would give that that image? It's, it's a nice image. Because the thing is with Supercard, they add so many like out of glow images nowadays that it's hard to fit a different image of, of, of a superstar onto a different card, like a different tier card. So with this card, as it didn't have an out of glow or a drop shadow, it would be universal. Like, it work on every card, pretty much. So yeah, for me, honestly, it goes in front of Daniel Bryan as legendary. That's my opinion, the second Pengus card right now that we've gone through, that's on the list. Like, it's very nice. Very nice. And obviously, Roman really can't lose, can he? <laughs> then we've got the Shinsuke Nakamura, which I believe is a ring nomination card. Uh, uh, first in line, an another one in line of the ring nomination cards. And this is when, for, I think this is from when Shinsuke first got introduced to the WWE. And honestly, I have to say, this is a very nice card. So I'm going to put this one in ultra good. It's a very nice card design. It's a very nice card, but it's not great. I'm actually, well, if I put him in ultra good, I have to put him in, in front of Kevin Owens. No, sorry, behind Kevin Owens, but in front of Kane because it's ultra good, but it's not amazing. This next one should be the Survivor The Rock PCC, I believe. And honestly, this is a legendary card. Very nice looking card design. Very slick. The unfortunate thing is, again, with that image, as you guys can see, it's got an outer glow on the actual image of The Rock. But yeah, apart from that, very nice card design. Right, so now we've got what, which is what I believe the second, the second ring domination to have been introduced to the game. Second or first, because it's either, I believe either the first one was um, Sami Zayn, or it could have been Undertaker. But this is when RD got first introduced to WWE Supercard back in the day and honestly i have to say this is a really nice card design it's just the image has an outer glow but i've said that about the rock i'm gonna put an epic i'm gonna put an epic in front of dean ambrose it's a very sick card it's undertaker as well it's the dead man but it's a, it's lacking a bit to be in the top row i mean you guys can see the top row is absolutely beautiful right this next one is the SummerSlam 20, I believe, event card of Adam Cole. It's going to get a super meh. Uh, yeah, super meh. It's okay. It was a, it was a lot similar to uh, the actual tier cards of SummerSlam 20. Like it's, it's almost like they took the normal card and just pepped up a slight bit. See, with these, they actually went out their way and did a lot more to it. Like with the John Cena, they added the Extreme, Ru Extreme Rules logo, gave him the title, and added like stars in the background with the American flag, whereas you don't have that here. So yeah, it's just those details for me. They make a card stand out more. Then this next one is a SummerSlam 20, what's this, RD card, I believe it was? It was when they introduced the zombies in the, all of the Halloween images into the game. Silver Star, do not like those. Do not, I, don't, I mean, but I don't really like the color green anyway, so I do not like that card. It's just, nah, it's not for me. Like I said, comments down below for any ag agreements or disagreements. Still got a couple cards to go. Then this next one is going to be the AJ Styles 2K19 event card. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I put this. It's a nice card, but is it up there with these? No. Is it up there with the epics? No. I'll give it ultra good. Just fine, Kane. It's a great card. It's obviously an advertisement in collaboration with 2K19, but I don't know. There are better cards out there. And you got the Alistair Black WrestleMania 33 event card. That's epic. I love the card design with the sun or the like, almost like solar eclipse in the background. Yes. So nice. Super clean. Super, super nice. Loved it. Now, what I believe, I don't know what actually what event this Alexa Bliss is for. But again, I just, I'm just not a fan of this card design. I don't know. It's, I just find it, it's like lack of effort. There's so much more you could have done with it. So uh, those are definitely staying in, in Silver Star. And you got the Andrade Almas, I want to say. Um, Titan tier event card. Hmm. Again, that's a Silver Star for me. Not the biggest fan of the actual event card card design because I remember it from when it got released. But it's obviously not the worst, but it wasn't the best either. Next one is WrestleMania 35 Andrade. Andrade, nice. Andre the Giant uh, event card. That has to be, uh, where do I put it? Behind AJ Styles for Ultra Good. I thought it was a really nice card design, especially because the pro had the train moving towards it, like with the background and stuff, like that animation. And it's a sick touch. And obviously with the lights of the train like glowing and stuff, I thought it was very sick. The next up is the Vanguard Batista, which I'm just going to go into Silver Star. Didn't like the image they used on the card. Didn't like the event card itself. But yeah, 
So the next one after that is the Goliath tier event card of Becky Lynch. Now this one is up there. Not only because it's Becky Lynch, but because the Goliath tier event cards were some of the best event card card designs in the game. Like I thought they were beautiful. I thought they were insane. But like I said, I'm down. I'm down for some criticism on this. I like. I would like to hear what you guys actually think of this. Then the next one is the Boogeyman. And I have to say, not a fan of Boogeyman. Not a fan of that card design. So that's just we're just gonna make it quickly, quickly and simple. Just put him down there. This next one, I don't actually know where this image is coming from of the fiend now, i don't actually know what card that is but it's it, the fiend is ultra it's like epic the fiend for me i'm a i'm biased i'm a big fa a fan of the fiend um so yeah for me the anything to do with the fiend is gonna get ultra ultra star rating if i had to do this unbiased i'd probably put the card in ultra good old super mare but the actual fact that it's the fiend for me is big the next one is a brett the hitman heart SummerSlam 21 no SummerSlam 20 these are SummerSlam 19 this is SummerSlam 20 that's gonna get super mare it's an okay, it's an okay card design. It's nothing special. Then this Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt is a money in the bank card. Uh, and I like the card design. I just thought it was a bit childish, but at the same time, it looks sick. I don't know, I'm just gonna put it in Super Mare. I believe they could have done better. Plus the image is not the greatest. Then this Hulk Hogan event card. I don't actually remember what that is, what tier that is. But I'm gonna put that in ultra good. And I'm gonna put that in front of Andre the Giant. I th I'd have to actually have a look at the like animation of the event card, Prode, but I, as far as I remember, those flames just like start sparkling and stuff. So, yeah, that's a sick card. Now we've got the Jeff Hardy WrestleMania 33 event card, and I love these cards. I love them and I miss them. These event cards are also some of the nicest event cards in the game. Honestly, the the cards look dope as fuck. So yeah. Then next one's again uh, Jeff Hardy WrestleMania 34 event card. Well, I'm going to go with Super Meh. I didn't like the purple and green combination. I believe they could have done more with the event cards in general for that tier. So, yeah. Now we've got what I believe is... That's not gothic. I actually don't know what tier that is. So, I'm going to put that in Silver Star. Only because I can't remember what tier that is. But the card design itself is clean as fuck. Obviously, let me know what tier that is, please, in the comment section. I'd love that. Then we've got the Royal Rumble event card of Jomo. And I thought those event cards were, super, uh, were ultra good. Purely because the, bigger, like, the, the, the people in the background would start like fighting or moving. Which I thought was clean and was ultra good. Next one is Rick Foley in a Santa outfit for an event card. We get these images quite often in the game of Mick Foley, like in a Santa outfit, especially around Christmas. And uh, yeah, I actually have to say it's an okay card design. So I'm going to put it in Super Mare. It's nothing great, but it's nothing bad with it. You know what I mean? Now for the next one. And I'm sorry it has to be Ronda Rousey, but this card is Silver Star. I don't know what they were thinking. That image is so so big like so zoomed in it's ridiculous i i think it's one of the ugliest cards they actually ever put in the game wow incredible right so now i believe this is the cataclysm samoa joe event card that's gonna go in super meh like it's average it could have been better i remember like the um the boulders or whatever you call them the comets the comets also it the comets would like move and stuff but i believe again they could have done more with uh with that samoa joe card then here we've got a special edition samoa joe like supercard anniversary card i believe that is so that's going to go into epic because i think it's to celebrate wwe supercards like fifth anniversary i think something like that so yeah obviously like i said if i've missed any or got any wrong based on the card designs or the events like i said let me know in the comments down below I'm, i'd love to hear back from you guys but yeah so we come we get now to the final card i actually have this card still on my account and i love it i love this card we'll never delete it seth rollins i'm actually gonna have to put him right behind roman reigns i love that 2k18 event card i love the image they used it looked like a mean seth rollins like almost like demon-esque seth rollins like he was ready for a scrap and i loved it so with that said this is the tier list let me know what you guys would have done and who you guys would have changed in the comment section down below and with that being said if you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe already, tell people about Pokemon 12, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.